Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're doing all fine. So let's start with today's uh, TA, Bitcoin is still trapped in this upwards moving channel. We have a support down here at around $9,600 where also the 200 moving average of the one hour time frame is lining up and currently it looks like that we could see here a possible breakout to the downside, possible to our support target of $9,000 dollar let's see if we're gonna see this breakout or not because this pattern could be a bearish pattern that takes us down but currently the stock market is still doing pretty fine and also there are some bullish signs so it is also possible that we're gonna bounce again and try to break again here this nine thousand nine hundred dollar area this is what we have to see in the next couple of hours so I'm still waiting here for a big bounce or for a breakout to the downside here because in the one hour you can see that we are trading now below the 15 the RSI so we are trading on the bearish side stochastic is oversold and if we go over to the Bollinger Band you can see that currently we are still overshooting it to the downside here in the one hour and MACD shifted to the downside so there are two scenarios now one is that we go up to retest here this $9,800 area or we're continuing to overshooting it to the downside so we are pushing here lower than $9,600 so let's see if we can see a bounce here or not not and if we go over to the four hour time frame also here you can see that currently we are trading below the 20 moving average and the 50 is giving us so far support so there is a high chance that maybe we fell down here and have a support down here at the 200 moving average of the four hour time frame possibly also down here at $9,000 this is what we have to see in the next couple of hours because you can see that this trend line here this red one is still acting as a very strong resistance so far we didn't break it and started to trade above it so we always got rejected here we only had a few weeks here to the upside and currently we are still trading below here this $9,800 RSI is also right at the 50 stochastic shifted to the downside so here we could see a potential fall from this channel that we are in right now towards here 9300 even down here to 9000 dollar let's see if we're gonna have this breakout or not and if we zoom out you can see that this nine thousand dollar could be a very important support area only if we break this support we could see prices again at around eight thousand to six thousand dollar in the worst case but you can be sure that there will be by everything that is down there at those price levels because it could be really the last time that we are seeing bitcoin so cheap and if we go over to the Bollinger Band in the 4 hour, also here you can see that currently we are trading on a very critical point, so right here in the middle, we could in theory start to trade here in the lower end, so even down to $9,300, and if we can see a big bounce here, the target would be at around $10,000. MACD is flat here, so as I told you, let's wait here for a possible breakout here to the downside from this little pattern that we are in currently, or in case that we can break here the resistance at around 10,000 maybe we can see a retest of this 10,300 to 10,500 dollar it is very possible that we go up there to test it also because as I told you the stock market is still pumping and in the futures here in the S&P you can see a little spike here to the upside from this potential bearish pattern that we were in so far but if we break out here to the upside this could also indicate that on Bitcoin we're gonna see something similar so a big breakout of this $10,500 area it is very possible that Bitcoin will follow then but this is what we have to see and compare also with the stock market. So let's go and have a look also on the daily time frame because here we are still very bullish. We are trading above the 20 daily moving average which is at $9,400. This is also very important support moving average and the 200 down here at $8,100. So that's why I told you as soon as we, if we're gonna drop down there, then I will be buy everything that I have taken out up here and rebuy back here from 8k down to the 0.618 fib line here at around $6,400. So this is the trading range where I'm gonna start to scale in longs and also buy back into Bitcoin while I took profits up here if we're going really that low. 
the RSI is right at the 50, so also here we should see a big bounce to the upside. Stochastic is in neutral territory, so we are in a potential bounce area here. Also based on the Bollinger Band, you can see that we are trading right in the middle area here. We can even drop down to 9,400 and we should be still here in the upper area. If we're gonna lose here the support here and we're starting to trade again towards $9,000, we could in theory also fall down to $8,700. This is what we have to see. And also the MACD you can see is also here very flat. So right now I would suggest to wait for a breakout in case that you're not already in a trade if you want to trade that with the leverage. And if we go over to the weekly time frame, here also you can see that currently we are pushing again towards the main resistance. It is possible that we're gonna form this potential rising wedge here for the longer term, but I think as soon as we can break here this $10,300, there's a very high chance that we just start to push here to the upside towards 14, 16, and possibly also 18K, even for the sh lower time frames. Also the RSI is here still above the 50, so very bullish here. Stochastic is still overbought, but as I told you, we can stay here for many weeks in overbought condition. As long as the RSI is trading here above the 50, we should be shifted to the upside. So even if you see the price going again towards the 20 weekly moving average here at 8,400, this is still bullish and we could have a test here down to this moving average. And that's why everything that you see below 9K should be maybe the last opportunity to buy real cheap bitcoins and if we go over to the Bollinger Band also here still very bullish still trading here in the upper area we have a lot of room to the upside even down if we go down towards $8,000 we would be still trading here in the upper area MACD shifted to the upside so here in the higher time frames still very very bullish and now before we're gonna wrap it up guys if you have an account created through my Bybit sign up link or if you still need an account on Bybit from tomorrow on two weeks, if you put a deposit of 0 0.2 Bitcoins, you will get $100 free bonus. So from tomorrow on, it doesn't matter if you already created an account with my link or you're new into trading and you want to open up an account within the next two weeks. If you put only 0 0.2 Bitcoin deposit on Bybit, not trade with it, just deposit, you will get $100 extra bonus next to the normal rewards that you get if you use my link that you find down below here in the video description. This is an exclusive offer only if you're using my link and of course also if you need a femex primex pt or btr exchange account you can also use my links down below to get some sign up bonuses but the best bonus for the next two weeks you will get only here on bybit so if you have an account with my link or you want to open a new account go down use the link and put the 0 0.2 bitcoin on it to get this free bonuses and also don't forget to join the free discord trading chat is completely for free everyone is welcome and shout out to all the people and members that are already in the chat and of course i'm doing all the live streams over on twitch so join all the twitch channel if you have twitch so thank you very much for watching guys leave a like if you like the content subscribe to the channel we do daily ta videos and also you can participate to the bitcoin giveaway that i do with every 500 subscribers so thank you very much for your support guys and we see us all in the next one bye